Hello, and welcome to a very calm Crusader Kings. And welcome to Wicked Wednesday, where I play sinful characters. Unfortunately, in spite of my best efforts, my son is not particularly sinful. At the very least, he's not virtuous, but he is not sinful. So that's disappointing. But we only have so much control over these things. Sometimes our children want to live their own lives. So in, pre in uh, the previous game, since I started, we, we've been using, my plan has been to use seduction and intrigue a lot. And I want, I've had very few good opportunities for assassinations, in large part because I'm not very good at it. But I've had lots of good opportunities for seduction because I'm quite good at that because I'm gallant. And then I've been seducing people who are from a noble house so that they can, so that they'll have better marriage opportunities. And then I marry them to claimants and then I press the claim in a war. And so doing, I expand one county at a time. That was the idea, but I lost the first war. And there's not that many claimants around just yet, because it's the very beginning of the game. Each generation, there's going to be more claimants. But it didn't... But I lost a lot of money. I've been in debt. Uh... And I've slowly worked my way out of it, and I've switched to the wealth focus to try and try and help catch up. I'm about 200 gold behind where I would have been if I didn't lose that war. And I suspect with golden obligations I'll be able to fix that. I think after golden obligations I'll take meritocracy, and if I can... I don't intend to become king of Bavaria. But I can set my son up to be king of Bavaria. He'll have a claim that he can press, because meritocracy gives you a strong pressed claim. I believe the term strong claim is outdated now. That's a Crusader Kings 2 term. You get a pressed claim. Along the way, I'm trying to get more prestige by helping out in wars, and I'm trying to opportunistically besiege places to get money, which is how I managed to get out of debt relatively quickly. My army is relatively cheap, which makes this work fairly well. So, we're going to wait one month before I bring my soldiers back. We'll see where these guys have walked off to, and then we'll just start sieging places that are worth a decent amount of money. Someone's trying to kill my wife. Oh, huh. that's no good. Let's see. Is there any place that neighbors on me that we're fighting that's worth a lot of loot? No. Okay. They're all only worth four. If I go in... I'll need to go a little bit further. This place is worth a lot. So we'll, we'll make a, a, a beeline through the territory to get to Prince Ludwig's capital. Slay a wolf for me. Your wish is my command. Oh, good.
So, with the amount of money that I have right now, let's get more siege weapons. And off we go. So, meanwhile, I gotta keep an eye on what that army does, but let's take a look at the children in my court, and let's start looking at who needs an education. He does. She does. She does. And he does. Good. What's this event? Oh, the hides will turn a nice profit. Bring the cleaver. If we assault this fort, I wonder how long it will last. 53 days. Okay, we'll do it. We'll stop when we're at 400. If we get down to 400. Espionage. Murder. Really? He is just a child. Almost down. Ah, uh, we'll just keep going. We won't run out. Good. Okay, and now... Now we will disperse until my army is back at full strength, and then we'll go one more county over. Okay, now, this young lady needs to be educated. She needs a good warrior to teach her. This courtier will do. This young man needs a teacher in diplomacy. She will do. I believe both my children are already being taught. Yes. This young man... He doesn't really have a personality yet, does he? Let's wait to choose. As for her... She can study stewardship. doesn't have much of a personality yet, and she doesn't have much of a personality yet. Okay, now let's see if there's a possibility of her marrying someone with beneficial traits. There is, but it won't last very long. So, if we sort by stewardship, the maximum age of 25. Well, that won't work. No one good there. 35. We can have a husband who will have 15 stewardship. 
She's being educated in stewardship. 15 isn't terrible. Okay. And is she lowborn? Yes. Is he lowborn? Yes. Okay, we'll make it a matrilineal marriage. This is setting her up to be a great steward because as I get older, it is a lost cause for me to have a smooth succession. So what I'm going to want instead is to give away a bunch of my territories to people who will be excellent counselors and who won't have claims. And I'll just keep the capital. Eichstadt. So, it's important that I set us up for... for that. So we're just waiting for my armies to replenish. Oh, a freelance fortune. Ah. Well, talking about landing people, it would be good. But I don't like that he has, that he'll die soon on account of his genetic traits. So I don't want to recruit him, but if he can pay me in hard, in hard coin, the land is his. In Hohenberg. Where is that? Right over here. And with all that in mind, we can build the pastoral lands right here. Do Andronicos of Flagonia. Well, this is useful to know. We can also blackmail her. Now she will come to my court. Along with her daughter here. We will educated right there I don't need to exercise at the moment and as for her she can marry a powerful knight no well since there isn't a powerful knight she can marry seven isn't very good All ages there. Ah, oh, he's okay. Though I already have a secret on him. So I can try and blackmail him. There. 13's alright. There we go. He's lowborn, she's lowborn. Doesn't matter what type of marriage it is. Now, let's see if he can marry anyone with good traits. 
He can. Look. She's beautiful. I'm not that interested in carps. Stop wasting my time. Okay, I think we can get my army ready to go. There. Let's see. What should I write a poem about? Her endless wisdom? I don't think so. Forgiving nature? Definitely not. She's vengeful. Noble righteousness. Well, none of... I don't think any of these really seem to fit. It may be endless wisdom on account of her patience. What's my current success rate on this? I might not need to do anything. Well, it's not. It could be higher. Okay, we'll say endless wisdom. Your piercing trill is the life-giving son of my world. I really want to smooch you. That time may know if you're warm or more like a corpse. You should do everything I want all the time. Is she mocking me? There we are, we're assaulting the fort again. We'll make as much money as is possible. There, they're nicely married. Okay. I can ransom her for more money. And that place is only worth four. That place is worth four. Zero. Seventeen. There we go. There's a place we can go and besiege. The money that we currently have, we'll get one more set of onagers. Ah, good. Golden obligations. So, time for some blackmail. Him. 
blackmail. Huh, we can blackmail the Emperor of Byzantium. That's nice. And here. are lots of payments to demand. There. And that has caught me up with my where I would be if it wasn't for my very unfortunate war. filled up on our men-at-arms. I'm not going to arrange marriages for either of these two until they are of age. It would be very useful if my son uh, could immediately get extra alliances by arranging marriages for his brothers. In the meantime, Let's take a look at our court. Court, there we go. This young lady is married. I, okay. So if this man is my best steward, Huh, the entourage of Count Marinos stops. A mangled body, ravaged by disease, falls from the sky. Ew, scoop her up, and we'll launch her right back. Along the same time... challenge him to a fight. Because it's fun. For a few brief moments, Count Marinos and I pace in lazy half-circles, each watching for an opening. With a sudden twitch, our boat begins. He counters with a fierce flail of quick slashes, almost running me through repeatedly. You'll have to let your guard down eventually, coward. He'll never see this coming, a surprise attack. Has a variety there. To the floor with you, I kick him in the shins.
So he has a high risk of personal injury with his current choice. I wonder what happens with unstable foundations. We're going to do that. Mandians. That's fun. But what twisted mockery of our faith is this? Spotting a moment of opportunity, I deliver a fierce kick, nearly hobbling him. He adopts a defensive stance. The man's eyes follow my every movement. I have yet to open up my opponent's guard at all, and see no way yet to claim victory. Probing attack. You have to let your guard down eventually, coward. Picking my moment carefully, I make several quick strikes, knocking Marinos this way and that, slowly widening his guard. Unexpectedly, he manages to swing a vicious kick for my shins, momentarily hobbling me. My opponent's guard is fierce, and I feel far from victory. That's the best you got. You can't even hit me. No risk of injury. Low increase to the likelihood of success. Yeah, that the best you got? You can't even hit me. Ah, oh, I lost. Playing for time, I back pedal away from my opponent, attempting to weave through his strikes. I find myself caught by several quick slashes that knock me off guard. I yield, I yield the trait wounded. You'll rue the day you defeated Duke Ernst. I lose a bunch of stress. And it's otherwise the same. Hmm. Okay. You'll rue the day you defeated Duke Ernst. There is anything, we shall find it. That place isn't worth anything. That place isn't. Oh, how about over here? 20 loot. Yes. Go for them. have a doctor in my court? I do not. My son can be my doctor. Why not? You shall be my court physician. Maybe this is why not. We'll see what happens in this wound treatment. Apparently not much has happened as a result of that wound treatment. So I've made no, uh, no secret of wanting to maximize my income. Uh, with my buildings. But a... And I think I've decided I'm going to pair it with cheap men-at-arms. 
as I get the opportunity to keep my uh, army costs down nice and small. So, the pikemen are a little bit expensive. I might eventually replace them, but I already have them, so. Ah, th that's too bad for my lover. I do not need her to become my lover. Good, we'll start off by blackmailing him. Hopefully it works out. Good. Demand payment. We'll now blackmail her. She can join my court. Let's see. That place isn't worth very much. Nor is that place. Let's see. We have some people down here. How much is this place worth? Uh, that place is worth 20. Okay, well, let's start off by disbanding. Oh no. We won't disband, we'll just walk over. Oh well, never mind. We're gonna arrive in three months. Let's disband. Because in three months I'll have a one day to recruit. Okay, she can come to court. Use hook. Okay, now. People with an inheritable trait. No one great. Okay, so. Let's instead have her marry someone with a very high... Huh. We want her to marry someone with high stewardship and a stewardship education. And who's kind of young. There does not appear to be anyone. So. We'll apply the same principle, but to other skills. And they also need to be adults. Here, where's the adult? There. Okay, that age category is too restrictive. Yeah, he's okay. Not very good at that, but he is good as an intricate web weaver we could set him up to be a good spy master for me I'm unconcerned about that is what we'll do now does he have he is lowborn and she is lowborn okay good we're gonna get a great spy master out of this arrangement I'm going to give him Nuremberg. Oh, I already had some options here for high intrigue characters. We'll go with him because he's young. That way he will be useful. He will be useful to my children. Still. There. There. 
And because he has intricate web weaver, yeah, a purple education trait. He immediately adopted a lifestyle that resulted in his intrigue being higher. Which is why it's a good idea to match education with ability scores and then give them land. Keep up the good work, pause. So we're just waiting so that I pay as little upkeep as possible right here. I've got some stress. Pet pause. There. Oh, finished building pastures. Build the next level. No one single in my court at the moment. Enough. You are boring the lady to death take her place. Better that I suffer than her. Chronic headaches. Uh, what an unpleasant man. To be so boring as to give us a headache. Enough, you are boring the lady to death. Someone's planning to kill my prisoner, whom I cannot ransom. to my court, you fine young cannibal. Okay, let's see if he can marry anyone with inheritable traits. He can. Or we can... Hey, my daughter... My daughter's marriage was nicely arranged. It was... He had a matrilineal marriage to someone that was going to get her land. Well, that's very unfortunate that that changed. Well, I'll need to handle that soon, but first... Let's see if there's anyone who is much younger than him. But still an adult who will join our court. Preferably one who's kind of good at stuff. I guess she 
is okay. There we go. We're actually just gonna send... If I send these guys home, how many are left? Enough to continue the siege. And it'll cost us very little money. So, I'll send them home. I have a grandson. I will educate him myself. development? Nah. Let's save it for now. More money. That's what we want. Lots of money. This is great. She has a genetic trait. She can come to my court. Where she will now marry someone who has a genetic trait. There is no one. Okay. Then someone who is still young with a high ability score, which there also is no one. Hmm. But people who have... I guess he'll be okay. If I get him, then I give him land, he'll probably be about as good as my current marshal is. Depending on what he gets there. So, there. There we are. Now, we will give him land. Oh, what? She left my court? I don't understand. I thought if I initiate the marriage, then they come to stay with me. Perhaps it matters if they're a guest or a member of a court. Now. Oh. We need to arrange a marriage for her. With someone. Let's see if there's anyone in the Byzantine Empire.
Well, this would actually be really good. And then I can land him. We'll do that. of Lechtenberg. There. Okay, we will demand payment from him. We have another secret that we could use against him, but he has no more money. So, there is no need. when Adiva's leech, Sheikh, Sheikh Akbar, invited me to a hunt, I did not hesitate to accept. I would do as it anything for a mere glimpse of my sweetness. I am coming for you, my love. I need you, my love, right here and right now. Now come to my court. Good. And now, let's see who she can marry. Ah, good. Here is someone. She is pretty. We can marry someone hale. Now, let's see. He's in someone's court. Let's see what they say. Propose that they get married. There's no warning that she'll leave my court. They usually tell you if someone will leave your court. Okay, let's see what happens. Hopefully this works. Uh oh. She left. Okay, so it matters if they are a, a guest or a member of the court. Okay, well. Let's break up with her. And now, 
let us search for women who are beautiful to woo. Here we are. Place is worth four. That place is worth eleven. But we are walking towards them. Let's see where they're going. Uh, I think it's a bit dangerous. Let's go up here. Yeah, they're coming after us, it looks like. Brought me a present. We better go help. My leech is losing. Now, we'll switch to something else. I don't need anything else in here, but I don't know what to switch to. Maybe Intrigue. Yes, we will switch to Intrigue. with the temptation focus. Uh-oh, we might not get there in time. Well, we got there in time, but it was not very useful. Oh no, one of my children was murdered. I don't need to take any risks for a higher chance on this seduction. Okay, so there is a certain advantage here to this because my spy master is unfortunately going to die very soon. But it's very good if your vassals are, are also, if your wife is a vassal. That's very good. And then I can also educate her myself there and whenever I get more land I can give it I can divide it between her and my grandson speaking of which not only will I teach her myself and convert her culture myself I will now also uh, give 
remaining land in my county to my grandson. There. I don't have any good counselors around, do I? So, is there anyone in my court who can get married? Yes, there is. Wait a second, that grandson wasn't my player heir. Who was he? No, he was my other son. Well, that's not good. That's a big mistake. Oh well. Too late. I'm just going to ask. Okay, and now... There, I have a skilled counselor. There. Okay, now let's start a scheme against my liege here to claim the throne. Not a very high success chance I have there, is it? As soon as those three months are up, I'm going to switch to support schemes. And maybe she can switch to patronage. Because that will also increase my chance slightly. See, that brings it up to 50. Oh, come on. They're stuck in a loop here. Okay. My spies will uncover in no time. Ah, oh, darn bad impression. We still have a very good success chance. There isn't really anywhere left that I can make money. Ah, oh, my cat has died. How sad. This is the only place left where I can actually make money by sieging it. Otherwise, my operating costs are simply too high. There, he switches back to disrupt schemes. Ah, oh, no. Discovered what I'm doing. You cannot start another claim against him for two years. That's an incredibly short period of time. We will abandon this scheme. Let's instead... Oh, I don't know. Sure. Ooh, look how good Frankie is doing. I believe that is good. 
the future king of Francia's daughter is related or is married to my son married to my son let's see if we can murder people until she is going to inherit Now we want to get to 100% secrecy, but other than that we can kind of hope to have uh, I don't yeah, I don't care so much if uh, he's recognized as my son. Okay, so now we'll just see if uh, since we have such a high success chance. Well, we don't have that high of a success chance. It's pretty good, though. But 93% secrecy is good enough. I don't want to spend more money on it. Not yet. We'll see if I can get... Uh, if I can get... There. If I can get uh, more I'm at a loss for words Silly me If I can get more Success chance from events That's what I'm looking for I'm excellent. I have a granddaughter. Let's find her a husband by finding an old ruler in a neighboring kingdom. Perhaps the Duke of Epirus. Here. I have two granddaughters. Ah. We'll do this one for the one my daughter's daughter. Oh no, he won't accept. Okay, I have various secrets, since people do not like me enough to accept marriages. This fella... Hmm. Not him. How about the Prince of Italy? Who else is there? There are currently... There's currently no one else. Maybe him? Hmm. None of them will end up 
working. Okay. Hooray. Okay. Oh no, they discovered that I'm an adulterer. I will do anything to deserve your forgiveness. Stop being lovers. We will give him a high contract. Okay. Now, you can disband. We've done enough in this war. After that seduction, we'll try seducing her. I'll leave her pinned. But she appears to be the spy master of West Francia. Oh, the things she learns are too valuable to higher success chance, but a 33% chance that it is exposed. She can't keep it a secret, she must be kept quiet instead. Reduction in scheme power, so it'll happen slower. No, this is a tough decision. I think I had better... I think she had better keep quiet. The chance to it being exposed is... is bad. Okay, now, let's take a look at the academy and go through children who need an education. Okay, here's someone. Educated to be a steward, and you can we can arrange a marriage for you with someone who is close in your age. Well, maybe a little bit more distant, who also has good stewardship. Hers is okay. Keep on going down. There. She'll be educated to be a knight. He will be educated to be a spy master. He will be educated to be a steward. Uh, you know what? We'll give him a learning education, because I don't have anyone who's good at teaching stewardship anymore. He doesn't have a personality yet. 
she doesn't have a personality yet. Nor does she. Hmm, visiting the local market, a merchant from a faraway land catches my attention. He might have more to give me than marvels from afar. This should cover trinkets and information. He will tell me what he knows. What does threatened merchant do? Is the penalty to popular opinion? Yeah, we'll go with that. He will tell me what he knows. Okay, so... That's not who I meant to look at. Oh, sure, my children can go to parties. They can all go to parties. Oh, we got better? Now he's had a son. I'll need to consider murdering him. But he is my spy master, so it'll be very hard to murder his son. For us to be together is only natural. Come and join me in my court. Now, her... I will attempt to seduce Prince Louis' spy master. There. Okay, and... So, first of all, let's start looking for people who have claims. The grand city of Looney. The county of Torda. The Earldom of Durham. Where's the Earldom of Durham? Up in Northumbria. I guess we could go after that. Of our various options, it's certainly, I believe it's the best. Right, because the county of Torda 
is far inland. We'll lose it on uh, on succession. The grand city of Luni would require going to war with Italy. Well, actually, I could probably win that right now. So, I could probably win that war, but if this finishes, I could also save him from the populists, which is good because uh, that'll help wanna, that'll help make sure that this guy actually inherits something. So yeah, we'll go. We'll go after Louis, the king. Is that what it was called? I forget what it was called. The Grand Looney, right there. Okay. And he's unlanded, and he's not a guest anywhere. Er, and he's not in anyone's court, so... He is low-born. So, we'll go with a matrilineal marriage. There. Excellent. We will now go take the grand city of Luni. Send the gift myself, get a plus 10% success chance. With only four months left, lower secrecy, I think, is worth it. I didn't realize how much weaker I had become by giving away so much land. It's not necessarily a surprise. Hearted fiend. Bon appetit, Louis. Ha ha ha, it must have been something he ate. Now we have this fella to murder. She has a much lower success rate. How about this fella to murder. I 
it's the same success rate, so we'll go after him next. Oh, what secret did we just discover? I accidentally... I accidentally got rid of that. But it's probably from someone who can join the plot? No. We will bribe both of these people. Hopefully that's enough to at least get the secrecy to a decent point. It's okay. Okay, now we'll need to watch what happens in Italy here. We might end up ending the war as soon as the populists win here. Hmm. I could picture myself with someone new. Or... Picky about partners. Better attraction. They are too pretentious for my tastes. Hopefully that'll help me... seduce her. Which is currently not going particularly well. A new opponent. This is no longer the best course of action. He is much, much stronger than me. still the king of Italy and he just has some strange places Let's see our success chance is currently quite low So I think we should probably risk getting Target is talking to my agent. Even though it might be discovered. Ah, I'm lucky. Excellent. Press there. Where are these raiders? Maybe we can fight them back. Or fight back. No. So, so long as Bavaria and East Francia remains unified, if I get a claim on Bavaria, then I take it. He'll lose all his places in Bavaria to me, which would be nice. I'd get Regensburg. I could move my capital there. That is a good thing for me to work towards. 
What's happening here? My liege is defending against him. Oh, hey. Excellent. If I send the gift to myself, he couldn't refuse. Or I can spend money and not risk myself at all. But it might not work. We'll do that. I have a little bit of extra cash at the moment. Excellent. I've been lucky twice. It will be a bold declaration to the lady. We're going to join in my liege's war here. If I can. Looks like he's not the primary defender. Offer to join war. Yeah, I can't offer. Oh, good. And she liked it. Are there any claimants to the county of Pula? I would like to be able to press a claim for that. Oh, my granddaughter here isn't in my court, though. So that doesn't actually help me. I have a court here. But he will not accept that one. How about this court here? Also will not accept. Perhaps I'll fabricate a hook on him later. Well, well, well. I would say he deserves a gift. No, he will have no gold of mine. I want to kill him quickly. A knife in the dark. Not poison him with radioactive treasure. Can I demand payment while he's in jail? I cannot. That is too bad. Bon appétit, Carloman. It must have been something he ate. Oh. I am very lucky. I am just on a roll. Okay. Here. We only have one young man left to murder. Just make sure there isn't... Oh, no, it's male only. Women cannot inherit claims. 
well, perhaps if he has no male children, he'll uh, change his opinion about that. That's no good. What about Aquitaine? It's also male only. Lotharinga? Male preference. Male preference. Okay. A long evening of state business with Count Osorio has slowly degenerated into both of us being deep in our cups, swapping saucy stories. I have just finished retelling the tale of the seductive charms of an exotic sea monster, when I see an untoward gleam in my companion's eyes. I have a few other storos, stories like that. He gets a new hobby and becomes deviant. Or he is repulsed. Which he will be. He will be repulsed. So that's quite enough for now. Thank you. And we just become good friends. There. Much better. A child of my dynasty. Ah, good. We must stop the villain behind it. My seduction of the spy master will probably be too late. But I can instead help keep Frankia together by assassinating Prince Carloman and then his son next. So that my son's wife will be in a position to inherit three kingdoms at a time. That'll be pretty nice. Of course, they'll need to change the laws to allow for female succession, but if this only heir is a woman, I think the AI will be willing to do that. Okay, we're going to start with enticing opportunities because we'll speed this up. Apparently not by that much. Let's see. I want, I think I'll want him to be educated to be a steward. By someone who's, you know, good at teaching. So she'd be a good choice. There. And then that will also mean that I will want her to be educated. 
sure you could be educated by the same person, I suppose. Sure, she'll be educated by the same person. She'll get a stewardship education also. And I will instead educate the son that I will, the grandson I will eventually play as. Dangerous pastime, son. You will need an instructor. My son is becoming a great duelist. Ah, King Arnulf has embraced some of my ideas. Very good. Let's accelerate time and just see what happens here. Oh no, more murder attempts. Let's see, it's only a 50% chance of success. If I rethink it, I might have more chances to increase the chance of success. Yeah, we're going to rethink it. Going off, huh? My gaze alone could charm Satan himself. This morning I had a delightful encounter with a charming young servant. We joked, we laughed, we parted with glad hearts, all because I made the effort to be more personable. Perhaps I could apply this bout of flirtatious confidence to more than just my personal affairs. Let's see, tactically coquettish. A huge attraction of Ponyan bonus. Okay, overly coquettish, what does that do? Just slightly less. A little bit more eye contact. Awkwardly coquettish. Very small opinion and a pretty big attraction bonus. Or I can gain prestige. My gain alone can charm Satan himself. No, I have to rethink this. Oh, excellent. I have a granddaughter. It's perfect for arranging marriages. But you know, I think it's a good time to take a break. I've been playing for a long time. We'll come back this all nice and fresh and enjoy it all the more for it so thank you all for watching this wicked wednesday i had a great time and i hope you did too my name is mind moose and have a good night